really fitting. I didn't change the uh, settings in this camera. Oh boy, that's going to be fun to let it out, isn't it? Hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, whoever and wherever you are, hello to you. Mm, it's a semi-lovely day. Semi-lovely day. Ah, it is what it is. So, how are we all? Hope we're all coping well and uh, we're getting through all of us together. My uh, sun visors are messing up. It's a bit sad, isn't it? A bit sad? No, it's dangerous, that's the word. That's the word I want. So, um, I received some bad news, actually. And uh, by received, I mean uh, I found out and then got told, easy, easy does it. I hate that bend, this bend, because uh, it's difficult to tell when people come around that corner. Even yellow cars with uh, fluffy seats. Yes, we have it all. Trying to get some air in here. There we go. And we aren't steamed up anymore. Fantastic. Love it. Now, Jelly Bean here needs a new pair of shoes. And uh, I've been recommended the uh, Angel GTs, Pirellis. And uh, while I've used the Dunlops, I like those. While I've used the, uh, what was it, the Bridgestones, I like them. Decent tyres. I thought I'd try something a bit different today. As is, you know, as is fine. And uh, me being me, I'm one of those sort of people that always says, uh, go hard or go home. So if these Pirellis last, as long as uh, people say they do, we'll see about that. Uh, <laughs> then uh, all should be well and good and perhaps I'll continue purchasing them in the foreseeable future because a tyre which performs very well and does its damn job is a tyre which I want. Ah, yes indeed. So, when I went to the, uh, the local garage dealership thing, Suzuki, nearby me, I've been in there a couple of times and it's been surprisingly empty. And uh, that might set the tone for what I'm just about to come out with, but uh, you know, it's 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 a shocker. It's not something you don't really realise until it actually happens. And my friend who wants to get into riding motorcycles, I've got my bloody clutching again, haven't I? Silly sausage. Oh, I must get out that habit. Get on with the story, Red. All right. So my friend wanted to. Well, he's very interested in the Suzuki 1800. Sorry. <clears throat> and uh, Suzuki Intruder 1800 they have one in stock six and a half grand so for him right now he's on bloody cloud nine the only issue is he doesn't have his license and all that sort of stuff yet you want to go don't you you want to go yes you do yes you do there you go bugger off oh dear some people right clutch not in this time there we are so, um, yeah, he's in that unfortunate situation where he could buy the bike, they need somewhere to store it. Uh, and six and a half grand is quite an amount. Could be the best deal he's got. Maybe another deal will come along later on. Never know. We'll see. But this dealership has been in service down here for a very long time. And like many people, I don't want to see him go. But unfortunately, the owner has decided to retire of uh, money woes or anything like that but you know he's, he's been in business for a very long time there and I wish him all the best for her and uh, you know everything good for the foreseeable future and such and uh, it's going to leave a hole because this is a place where I like to take jelly bean for a lot of quick services and such and such uh, if something doesn't quite feel right or if something's playing up and I'm not entirely sure about it then yeah I'll, I'll take it to them and say lads what could we do about this? Or if it's even stuff I can't do myself, um, which I will admit is a, a fair bit, but I like to tinker every now and then. I'm not going to contact them and say, hey, can you remove one of these GoPro belts for me? <laughs> Silly. But no, um, yeah, it's uh, all things considered, by the way. Haha. <laughs> Just in case you're interested. <laughs> um, it's incredibly sad because I love that place. You know, the mechanics are always very welcoming. Um, they have a decent amount of stuff in stock, a bit of clothing, a bit of this, a bit of that, you know. 
and uh, I'm going to be genuinely gutted to see him go. I really am. And that's a, uh, it's a topic which I raised a while back, with the whole high street being as it is. I was going to say it was, but no, it still is. Um, you know, things aren't exactly settling right now, are they? And uh, no doubt the high street is going to get worse. But uh, the video I did basically touched upon the idea of uh, you know, my favourite burger place closed down. So I raised the question, what if your favourite dealership closed down? Your favourite garage? Now, that's become a bloody reality, hasn't it? Now there are one or two others around here, which will do motorcycle servicing. That was uh, a bit naughty, wasn't it? Each of their own. But, uh, yeah, I'm now living the uh, reality of that video, that subject. And we'll see what happens. I know there's a lot of you out there who have uh, not got so many places so close. Small towns and uh, whatnot, not every other place has got a, a garage or a, a garage. A, uh, a decent mechanic, grease monkey, if you would that can uh, fix their stuff. So I consider myself quite lucky on that front, but uh, yeah, still it sucks, doesn't it? it? Means now you've got to be sociable. You'd go out and find someone else to uh, do the service on your beloved jelly bean and or other bike. Uh. But yeah, it's a kick in the balls. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have to stop there, aren't you? You are gonna have to stop. I've come Jesus Christ, some people. It's the place in question. There's that lovely uh, intruder in there. Beautiful bike, 1800ccs. Ooh. Heavy old bike though. Chili Bean will probably slaughter that off <laughs> of a set of lights. <laughs> oh dear, but yeah, I, I, <laughs> I joke, I kid, I laugh, you know, because what can you do in there? These sort of situations. So you just keep crawling out while there's a bus coming. You sausage. Jesus. That's another thing as well. Like this, <laughs> with the way things are at the moment, people are just people are just more stupid. I'm, I'm pretty sure the IQ of the general populace has become lower. Oh. But. Uh, Ah, oh, it sucks. It really sucks. That's basically what I wanted to say on that front. It just, it just really sucks. Ooh, big bump. And uh, I hope for the rest of you. I'm sure if that's a siren or just an alarm. Oh, I'll scoot myself right down here. You are most welcome, sir. Please do not be jelly bean. <laughs> that is not um, <laughs> that is not something I want to be admitted into hospital for right now. <laughs> oh, what seems to be the problem? Um, I got smacked off my bike by a white bus. <laughs> Did you not see him coming? No, he didn't see me. Uh, <laughs> well, I should rephrase that. He saw me, but he still hit me. Oh, <laughs> some love tap that would be. But yeah. Uh, and with the uh, with the old bill in front of me as well, usually I'd go through here and give you a little blip for the uh, for the audio, but I don't think I want to do that right now because tensions are high. Ah, uh, fun. It's a fun life, isn't it? <laughs> funny old world, funny old game we're playing at the moment. I'm double checking down there for my camera. So, I went out recording a video the other day, and uh, cut long story short, my camera fell off. So, there's that. <laughs> More on that story later. But uh, for now, I think I'll leave it there. You have yourselves uh, a lovely weekend and all that. Stay bloody safe. My gosh, I can't stress that enough. Stay safe.